At Coors, cold counts. That's why we lager, filter, and package cold for a cleaner, crisper taste. Because our mountain is brewing the world's most refreshing beer. Coors Light. Whatever your mountain, climb on.
coach, it's halftime, 12-7, ball up, score right before the half. Mm -hmm. uh, how you feel about your team uh, feel, play right now? I feel real good. I, re I feel real good coming back out of the half. We just got to make sure time's on our side, and we're just going to probably end up having to run the ball. We're going to play our game, not this. So now, y'all mixed it up a little bit. Your running game was working, your pass game was working. Uh, from my point of view, your quarterback kind of sometimes bailed out a little early. What are you going to do about that? Yeah, I, How are you going to make that adjustment? He's not trusting the offensive line. That's just something that I have to be able to talk to these guys about, giving them a little bit more time so that way he can feel comfortable because I know he has the skill set to be able to launch it down there. We just got to give him more opportunities and then letting the receivers know they got to get open a lot quicker. Now, y'all pulled out a big win last week. I know coming into this week, y'all was on a high. Y'all up at halftime. I know you're feeling good, Coach. I know you're feeling good. One of the things you told me last week was, we ain't used to be in this position. Yep, so yep. now you're in this position, you got 30 more minutes to go. Do you think they're gonna come back out and play with the same intensity? The intensity is actually gonna be greater because I'm gonna go in there and tell these guys, hey, you know what, the score is zero, zero. Uh, we don't count anybody out. And, I, and right now, it's just gonna be a fresh ball game for us, and we're gonna play every single snap, every single whistle. These guys gotta get physical. All right, Coach, down 12-7. We spoke a little bit during the game. The Achilles heel is getting to the half. Y'all had the lead, 7-6, seven, seven, gave up a long touchdown. What's going on? This three times in a row. I wish I could um, get an answer to that. We just got to play better. We're not executing with our guys are not executing the way they need to. And we let up that big play. I don't know if it's complacency. Uh, if we're tired. I don't know what it is, but uh, at least I do a better job. Because you, you got your team, you, you got, I mean, we've talked before, you, and, and we be honest with each other, you got a good core group of guys, and it's the little things. You talk to me about it, you say it's going to be the little things that set, make, your, make the difference in your team. Right. And right now, that's what's happening. But I know you're going to talk to them, I know you're going to coach them up, you're going to get them right uh, for the second half. How you think they're going to respond? I hope they respond good. I mean, it's tough to have. Uh, you know, we can we can play with any team here. We just have to play with our minds and play with our uh, hearts. And we can win football games if we just play collectively as a team. Do our assignments. Do those little things. If, if right now those little things we're not doing them, um, I will say they're doing a good job taking away some of the things that we tried doing the first half. Made some adjustments so we can take advantage of their um, adjustments. <laughs>
second half, and your, and your boys played a uh, better second half than the first half, played the whole game around. How you feel about that? Um, I'm glad that they came together. We just had to fix some little things that we uh, made mistakes on, but we did a good job. We came out, played with a lot of fire, uh, didn't give up on ourselves. We knew we could move the ball with these guys, especially with the um, adjustments we made, and it, um, it worked. We're running a really strong today. Well, I had no doubt you were going to make adjustments at half time. You was making them before half time. So I knew y'all would come on and play a much better second half. And, uh, and as a coach, I know you're happy that you played a second, a better second half. But like you, I just heard you say, it's the little things. It's the little things. When you clean up those little things, it's everything. It opens up for y'all. Yeah, I think, I really think if we get that those little things and the, every week that we are together, we're getting better and better. Um, this team is still like new playing with each other and it's it's fine that chemistry you trust the guy next to you and once that happens we can we can trust that guy and the little things are fixed i think that there's a good chance that we could uh, win a lot of games yeah well you're, you're, you're running back your running back had a very good game i mean he was hitting that hole and he was 
He was carrying the power. You got to like that. that. I mean, on this turf, you don't have a cloud of dust. Yep. If you could have had a cloud of dust, it would have been three yards in a cloud of dust. He was carrying people. You got to love that. He was, yeah. And actually, both of them did a great job with uh, Jennings. We had a fullback with Frank that did a great job uh, lead blocking. I really found out what they're doing, trying to get the holes um, a little bit better for us. And uh, I thought it worked out well for us. I mean, they, they just keep their feet turning. And we, we actually practice that. Like, guys, you got to keep your feet moving. And, um, so we played well. Our defense played lights out as well. A couple of turnovers is awesome. Yeah, yeah. And once again, and, and that's the key. The, the defense. The defense. A shutout the second half. A, a, and you got to be happy with that. A shutout in the whole half. Yeah. The uh, they scored the first drive. They were kind of still on the bus. They didn't really get off yet. Um, <laughs> right. But they found, you know, they they found their um, groove. And I got moving. Then they had that touchdown at the end of the half, like we talked about. But um, we we realized what they're doing, how we can combat that, and you know, with the guy like Dick Love. He don't know football. football. He don't know football. Oh, come on! Get that guy. So, uh, hey, hey, you thanks, know guys. Hey, hey, sometimes you got to get the ice water bath even with a bottle. Oh, and, uh, so, so once again, man, listen, um, what, what's your record? Uh, we're looking to be one and the, one and all. I don't know why. Okay, yeah, and, and the reason I'm asking is because this is what you build. You build off a game like this. Yeah. So, so, yeah. so. This could change your whole season if y'all just keep adding blocks to this. And that's why I asked you about your record. Not because it Vegas, matters. Three, are we three and two? Yes. Yeah, three and two. Oh, so you're three and two. So yeah, so you build off a game like this. And, and like I said, the next week, you just keep adding another layer and you'll be right there, Coach. Thank you so much for everything, man. I really appreciate it. My name is Sean Fraser. I play many positions. I'm just a team player. But I just want to specifically talk to the team two weeks ago that came up, talk a lot of stuff about us as a team. We just won as a team. So we're looking for that team again. That's a challenge. We're all going to play, put it all on the line for that team. They know who they are. The quarterback said he was the best quarterback in the league. That's all I got to say. But I got to challenge out. We will see them again. OK. Just I, on I, your own. I know who you're talking about. Yep, yep. I know who you're talking about. And and like you say, that's down the road. Yep. But I want to talk about your play in this game. That was a nice uh, touchdown you caught Thank uh, you. in the end zones down there. Uh, not only did you dotted the eye with those toes yep. and all that, uh, once again, um, overall, how do you think you played? I think as a player, I think I played within the system. That's what, we're, that's what our coaches want us to do. They want us to go out there, execute what we need to get done. My name is Berkeley. Let's try to see how it goes. Hey, it looks hot. But we play within the system, right? We don't try to play outside of ourselves. If we have to play, I played guard today. I played end. I played safety. Wherever we are needed, we're going to play. So and he came what, late. <laughs> what makes us as a team and me as a player is playing within that system. Now, if I try to play outside of that system, then you do what you want to do and then plays get made, so. But once again, listen, um, I've seen y'all, this is probably about my third game, yep. uh, uh, watching y'all play, and each week y'all add a new layer to what y'all doing. And once again, like you say, it's a team effort. It's team effort. And I just want to uh, commend you and your teammates on, just keep working hard. It's a full quarter football game. Y'all yep. got down, but yep. you didn't uh, count yourselves out. Thank Absolutely. you so much Thank for you. your Thank time. you for the time. All right, Thank you. we'll see y'all again. Have a great we'll day. We'll see y'all again. See it's a great game in the East Coast Football League. Um, Hurricanes came out, they pulled it together, especially in the second half, and pulled off a victory. The Tigers were riding high after they won last week, but you know what? Last week was last week, and so they're going to have to go back to the drawing board and do some work. Uh, but once again, hey, if you're not doing anything, come on and check out the East Coast Football League. They're doing some great things out here. Once again, it's Don Williams. I'm out. Take care. Bye-bye.